When you were talking to Putin, when you were president and he was talking about potentially invading Ukraine, that you threatened him with your nuclear capability? I threatened him like he has never been threatened before. Did you threaten to use nuclear weapons? I don't want to say that. I threatened him like he has never been threatened before. What's your message for Putin now, right now? If, he, if you could talk to him, what would you say to him? I, I, I would say it's a shame what you've done. You're killing, I think potentially, look, you know, if, if these people aren't smart, mm. and they're not, mm. our leaders are not smart. If they're not smart, you're going to end up in a nuclear war. This is just the beginning. This is the beginning. And I've been the best predictor of things mm. ever. Now, it doesn't have to happen. It shouldn't happen. But if our people aren't smart, you're going to end up in a nuclear war. So what's think, your message to him? I think they're dealing with... If he's with, watching this interview, and I, he will be, look, what would you say to him? I think they're dealing with him incorrectly. I think what they're saying, it, it's almost like they're speaking with fear. Mm. And they don't understand. We have... One weapon alone that would destroy everything. Should Putin get out of Ukraine right now? Uh, they should make a deal and they can make a deal and they should do it fast. When people look back on this period of time, we're going to be ashamed at what we've done or what we haven't done to stop this catastrophe. This is a catastrophe. This is, in a way, already a world war. Has Russia made itself with this invasion? Has it made itself an enemy of the United States? Well, I think two things have happened. Number one, they've proven to be less powerful than we thought. Mm. That's a good thing from our standpoint. Mm. But at the same time, they have a second degree of weapon uh, that is very powerful. And nobody can be allowed to use it, talk about it, threaten with it. Uh, we have more powerful than them. And there would be no Russia. There would be no Russia. But we don't want to talk about that. But when I watch Biden say, oh, he's got nuclear weapons, mm. we can't do this. You can't do that. Mm. You know, I confronted Kim Jong-un, and all of a sudden I got a call they'd like to meet. It was like, and we when met. When you say confronted him, and we did, met in what did Singapore. you say to him? Well, verbally I confronted him. You know that. Mm. He said, I have a red button on my desk, meaning a nuclear button. I said, I have a red button on my desk too, but it's bigger and stronger than yours, and mine works. And they said, whoa, nobody's ever talked to us that way. I took a lot of, a lot of heat when I said that. 